Hey folks, welcome to Truck King. Yes, this is it, the 2024 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. And we know all the Tacomas are cool, but let's be honest, the TRD Pro has to be the coolest. And in this video, we're gonna crawl all over it, give you all the information. Oh yeah, and then we're also gonna see that brand new Trail Hunter model and talk about all those features. So make sure you stay tuned. Well, here we are in lovely Hawaii to check out these new Tacomas. Now, Toyota brought us down here to also see the new Grand Highlander and drive that. We're not driving the Tacomas today, sadly, but we are able to crawl all over them and show you guys all the features. And yes, Dad is here with me in this video. He's behind the camera. Say hi to the folks, Dad. Hi, I'm sweating. <laughs> it's pretty humid out here. Um, but yeah, let's dive right into this Tacoma right now. So TRD Pro, this is your high-speed desert off-road model. If that's what you're focused on, the best off-roader in the stable, this is going to be the one for you. Now, TRD Pro is going to be iForce Max Hybrid only. So you're only going to get that hybrid powertrain. And when we're talking power numbers, Dad, that's 326 horsepower and 465 pound-feet of torque sent through an eight-speed automatic. And those are pretty impressive numbers. They're also segment-leading torque numbers. So uh, yeah, it should be fun to get out there and start really pushing it and see what the power's like. This truck is using Fox two and a half inch shock bodies and these are called the QS3. That stands for Quick Switch 3. And I'll get a close up to show you guys, but right on the shock bodies, there's actually a little clicker and I'm able to reach in. Oh, there it is. It's back here behind the wheel. I'm able to reach in here and set this between three different settings, one, two, and three. All four individual shocks have that. And again, that allows you to get in there and set the damping how you like it between firm, kind of firm, and soft. And then you can also go soft in the front, firm in the back. You can drive this thing and really feel it out to understand what setting on those shocks you're gonna like. Now, they didn't go to active suspension, like let's say the Ford Ranger Raptor did. I thought maybe they would do that, but at least you do have some adjustability just with the clickers down there. So we talked suspension, and I gotta mention that in the back, no more leaf springs. This is a coil spring setup here on this truck, which should help it swallow up the bumps without some of that roughness. Now I mentioned the Fox shocks, but we also have to look at the tires because they're massively important. That's a set of Goodyear Wrangler Territory RTs. Those are 33 inch tires. Now a new feature for Tacoma this year, is a front stabilizer bar disconnect. This is something that Jeep has had for a long time and Toyota has gone there. And what that allows you to do is maximize your front articulation and keep all four of those wheels in contact with the ground at all times. Now, we are also getting a rear locker here but no front locker. A lot of people thought Toyota might try to catch up to Chevy and now Ford and do the front locking thing as well. But no, you're only getting the rear locking differential here on the TRD Pro. Of uh, course, also a full set of skid plates underneath as well. However, yeah, Steve, I did want to throw in here that, you know, right now, if you're looking at this image and you're saying, that's a big looking truck, you're absolutely right. Because this TRD Pro sits two inches higher in the front yep. and an inch and a half higher in the rear. Right. And it is actually three inches wider right. than an SR5. So uh, it doesn't hurt that, you know, they've outlined all those wheel flares in yeah, black. It really comes across on the fender flares. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, it's a good look, but be, over and above that, it's, it's an actual mechanical uplift to get you through that desert. Sure, and getting that width, that's just gonna provide you with a little bit more stability when you're flying along there at high speeds. You know what, something else I forgot to mention right up front here, which is another great feature to add. We saw it in the Tundra integrated LED light bar, plus those rigid fog lamps. So you have a really nice lighting setup here. That's controlled from inside the cab on a button. And it's just one more thing that you don't have to go to the aftermarket for. And you're gonna see that as a trend, not just here on the Tacoma, but with all of automotive. It seems mm -hmm. like OEMs are just going, why don't we offer the things the aftermarket offers? So things like the light bar, and then actually some more cool lights back here, come on. Well, Steve, you know, that is a profit center. I mean, they're not goofy. They figured out that totally. if you're all going to SEMA and buying that stuff, why don't they make it? Exactly. And then when it comes to lighting, also look at these bedside lights. The whole idea here is you pull into your campsite, you're setting up at night, and these will actually illuminate beside your truck. Again, not a new idea. The F-150 has had some spotlights around it for quite a few years now, but really smart things that are gonna be functional in the real world, especially for a truck that probably is gonna end up camping and out at the lake and out in the desert, right? 
So as we get to the back end, before I open the tailgate, let's look at this ARB bumper. Yes, Toyota teamed up with ARB. This is a proper steel bumper. And look, Dad, red tow hooks. You have to have red tow hooks somewhere, right? I'm happy about that, but they're not <laughs> red up front. No, but look, they're super exposed here. It almost comes out actually beyond the bumper. I love that. Really easy to get to. Uh, always handy to have the recovery points. So we also get these cool release buttons for the tailgate in the uh, rear tail lamps. And this tailgate's also power down and power up. Now when it comes to the bed, this is the standard Tacoma bed. They say it's 7% more volume this year and that's because it's a little taller than it was before. Outside of that though, it's, uh, yeah, like I said, pretty standard. You're getting LED lights, you are getting this remo or removable cleat system here. And then we do get a plug and of course, I'll double check, yeah, this is 2400 watts of power. Yeah, that's pretty good. kilowatts is awesome if you're out there camping, you wanna cook, you wanna run a TV, you wanna do a whole bunch of stuff. That's a legitimate amount of power and there is an AC inverter in this truck to make that happen. Now, one other thing I'll also say, and we said this in our last video, the bed we're looking at here is super slick. It has no texture to it. Toyota did tell us that won't be the case in production. Just like today, if you have a Tacoma now, you know the bed, it's this composite bed, but it has a little bit of texture, so it's not super slippery. This feels like in the rain, it's gonna be super slick. But when the production truck shows up, it shouldn't be like this, so I'm curious to see how Yeah, the engineer ran over when he heard you saying that and quickly corrected us. Yeah, so that is good to know. We, uh, we appreciate that. So I think that's probably about it on no, the there's exterior. One more, there's one more thing, Steve, Please. and I mean, okay, you call it an interior thing, but I'll throw it in right now. We're looking at a, we're looking at a serious off-roader here, and despite the fact that we've got a new seating position in the truck, you are still going to be cracking your butt with this at high speed. So sure. they are now going to offer you this year for the first time something called an isodynamic performance seat which is an actual driver's seat that uses air over oil filled shock absorber system that will allow vertical and lateral seat movement. Yeah. So the idea being is that hopefully that should suck up some of the really bad bounce back once you're out in the desert. Totally, and we love flying along off-road, so I get the idea of if you're a little bit more isolated from all that movement, you're able to kind of stay more locked in. You should be able to focus on what you're doing that much more. It makes a lot of sense. I would show it to you guys in this truck, but it's actually not really functional in this truck, so you can see it right here. I just throw up some B-roll, but it looks amazing. Uh, the other thing, that is you can adjust the damping by weight. So for a heavier guy, you can crank up the damping. A lighter guy, you can crank it down, and then you can also just shut it off. So if you don't like the way it feels, get rid of it and you're good to go. And you know what? It's not just the driver, it's also the passenger seat. So oh, both, right. both front seats, you're going to be able to get it and you're going to be able to, yeah, get that comfortable off-road ride. And then I also just wonder, you know, downtown Toronto on the cracked pavement, if it's not going to also feel kind of nice. Hard to say, but I'm looking <laughs> forward to trying that. Yeah, but yeah, well, yeah, let's jump inside and I'll show you the interior. Hey everybody, it's Howard at Truck King. Listen, about two years ago, I was gifted a set of these giddy up straps and they've been in my truck ever since, helping my wife, my grandkids, even my mom get in and out. Well, just recently, we came into a supply of these and we now wanna sell them to you. So all you gotta do is reach out to us at hey at truckking.ca. Steve will throw that up here. Tell us where you are, what kind of truck you have, how many units you want. We'll get back to you with the price, including postage. Listen, we believe in this product and we believe you're gonna like it too. So let's look inside this TRD Pro. Now the first thing you're gonna notice, all the red accents, the red seats, red stitching. That's a theme. Got some serious bolsters on those seats yeah, too. Yeah, no kidding. But they're hugging me pretty nice. Now somebody pointed this out to me and now that I'm sitting here, I do, uh, I do feel it. It's a little unfortunate that the headrests are fixed on these seats. I'd like this headrest to be a little taller. And again, taller. to point out, this is the isodynamic seat you're in. Correct, this is an isodynamic seat. So that's it, they have fixed headrests, which is something I didn't quite expect. I'd, I'd like to move that up a little bit. But once again, I need to get out there and start bouncing around to really tell how that's gonna feel. Now the other thing, which is a huge deal, is just the seating position in general and it's way better. My butt is up off the floor. My knees feel like they're at a proper angle. I'm looking out the right part of the windshield, right in the middle, not at the top. The last Tacoma, we just, the seating position was never great. And they obviously took that to heart and they improved it here. And I really appreciate that for off-roading. 
Now, TRD Pro, we're basically getting all of the best interior features. So 14 inch touchscreen here, 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster. We're getting the JBL audio system with removable Bluetooth speaker. Well, that's why I'm buying it. There you go, man. I mean, so this thing, you plug it in your dash there, it works like a regular speaker. And then if you want to take your tunes to the beach or out to the campsite, you can do that as well. So that's kind of cool. What else? We're also getting three pre-wired auxiliary switches on TRD Pro. Makes total sense. This is the kind of truck that people are going to be adding things to, light bars, other accessories. Nice to have the pre-wired switches. My light bar button is down here to the left to control my light bar. And then of course all the off-road stuff here. So my sway bar disconnect, my rear locker, I'm getting multi-terrain select, I'm getting crawl control, and then I'm also getting all the different drive modes and a tow haul mode. So all the drive modes here are dialed in to make sure the truck will be ready for whatever you're doing with it i like it in here dad i think they yeah i just job, wanted to man. emphasize that that uh, uh sway bar disconnect that is new absolutely that's new yeah that's a new thing yeah and that's great that's a, that's a really neat feature which when you're in a hardcore off-road situation makes a legitimate difference and and what i'm dying to do when we drive it is to see the difference because let's let's keep emphasizing the fact this is a brand new chassis yep okay so you know it's a new frame there are more cross members in this than the old one and they've added things like electric power steering for instance you sure. know so we've got a lot of upgrades in here that are gonna affect the performance overall and of course we won't know that until we actually get out there and start beating on it totally but that's it so just today based on just sitting here feeling it everything feels correct uh, i mean I, unless we drive it and something goes crazy wrong i think they did a nice job here but yeah i'm gonna hop back out now and i'll meet you back at the front now hopefully you've already seen our initial news video on the tacoma where i just used kind of the manufacturer b-roll and photos and in those photos we couldn't see the front tow hooks and a lot of the commenters pointed out no front tow hooks but be happy because there are recovery points they're just a little deep under here but right here there's a serious hook that's right onto the frame there's one on that side as well so it is nice you do get a recovery point they're not up here in the bumper it'd kind of be nice if they were exposed but still don't panic internet unlike the tundra we do get front recovery points here on trd pro yeah but they're not red steve they're not red they're only red in the back <laughs> Um, so yeah, I think that's it on this truck. I mean, super exciting. Can't wait to get out and drive it. But you know what? TRD Pro is a known commodity. The things they did to this truck were just to make it better. Now let's look at the brand new model in the lineup, that Tacoma Trail Hunter. Let's pull it in, see what it's all about. So here it is. This is the big one. This is the 2024 Tacoma Trail Hunter. So listen, this was a concept in 2022 at the SEMA show in Las Vegas. And I think what's interesting about that is that, yeah, you know what? Manufacturers do pay attention. They put that thing out there and the response from the people attending that show, as well as from the aftermarket people who probably looked at it and went, man, I can sell something that'll go on there. Uh, yeah, they pay attention, they built it, here it is. So what the hell is a trail hunter? That is really the big question. Exactly. It's aimed at an overlanding crowd, so there's a, a camping element to it, but it's also more about getting into sort of like rocky, gnarly, backcountry places. This is not the high speed version that say the TRD Pro is trying to be, which of course will still do all that stuff as well. So to try to make it easy, this is a TRD Pro. However, it's got a few different features and a couple of less features that are not aimed at that go fast thing. However, the first thing that you want to look at is, well, look at it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it looks different. Certainly when you consider all the add-ons, that roof rack, uh, the very, the ARB, uh, bed I don't know, rail. Steve, what do you call this? Uh, bed rack. Sorry. Oh, this is a bed, bed rack. rack. Okay. Right. And so this is actually here so that you can tie stuff onto it. And right. I'm assuming you could also throw a big ass spare tire in the back there. Right. And again, these are Molly panels. That's functional. That's what the military uses to attach stuff. And you can buy loads of things that use that Molly system. You could tie your kids to that when they're misbehaving. <laughs> Probably could. Yeah. So the other thing is that they're using various aftermarket companies here. Actually, they're relying on them you know, quite a bit, yeah. right? I mean, the big one here, ARB, the really well-known well, well known name in, uh, in off-roading. And they actually had an ARB engineer with the Toyota engineers developing the truck. So it's not even like they swooped in at the last second and just put all their parts on. They were there from the get-go 
to make sure this thing was tuned properly for their stuff. Yeah, they're also using people like Old Man Emu when it comes to the shock shots. and uh, component parts, rigid. Um, so we've got a, a truck that's been put together as if you went to the aftermarket yourself and chose very specific items to make this better. Absolutely. I, I get a real kick out of the fact that they've even embossed, come take a look at this, Steve, the, uh, the control arms in here with Trail Hunter. So, yeah, uh, yeah bronze even- bronze in here on the TRD Pro, they're red. <laughs> yeah, so if you run somebody over, they can look up and see what ran them over. <laughs> Uh, you're also getting that set of rock rails, Dad. That's also standard here, which is not standard on TRD Pro. A little more protection, I think, makes sense for the Trail Hunter because, yeah, you're getting in, like you said, to those rocky spots. And then the tires, they're the same as the Pro, different wheels, but still a set of 33-inch Wrangler Territory RT tires. And then we also got to mention the engine. It's iForce Max. That's the only engine you're getting with your Trail Hunter. So on both the top trim off-road models, they went hybrid only. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It just is what it is, right? Now, apparently they've also upgraded uh, the skid plates as far as this is the maximum skid plate package. Yeah. Obviously we can't crawl under this, but let me tell you that when we get one of these up to Ironwood, we'll get it up on our ramp because I want to see all that. Of course. Now again, just like the Pro, you're getting that ARB steel bumper, big exposed recovery hooks. And then I didn't point this out on the Pro, but these guys right here, are actual spots for a high lift jack. So again, if you're really stuck somewhere deep and you gotta crank up your rear end, or heck, if you're just changing a tire out on the trail, it's nice to have a proper high lift jack point because high lift jacks are awesome, but it can actually be really hard to find a place to use them in a, in a safe way on your vehicle. Well, right? without damaging your vehicle. And the neat thing is that it's gonna be available on every uh, Tacoma right. because they're they're attached right to the frame. So it doesn't matter whether you're at the entry level or if you're at the uh, limited addition. Absolutely. So let's talk about towing, Steve, because um, obviously the towing numbers we're going to mention, they're a little different for each model yep. based on how they're put together. However, uh, across the line, we can tell you that the max tow rating now for Tacoma is 6,500 pounds, max payload 1,709 pounds. But I think one of the big deals for me is all the electronic uh, helpers that you're getting with this. Totally. First of all, you are getting now an integrated trailer brake controller, a trailer backup guide, a digital rear display mirror, and a trailer backup guidance system. Overall, a um, little simpler than say some of the things you'll find with Ford or Ram. Uh, bottom line is line up your trailer straight to where you want to go and it'll keep it straight. Yeah. It will not allow it to sort of fall off and, and uh, jackknife on you. Right. I do just want to cut in real quick that the hybrid models only tow 6,000 pounds. The gas models tow 6,500. I did say max tow rating, <laughs> I, so I'm as bad as every commercial. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to clarify. That's right. So the other thing too is, you know, I don't think we mentioned this before, but there's a little bit more aluminum on these trucks than yes. on the previous models. For instance, things like uh, tailgates, and some sections of uh, quarter panels, etc. So again, they're trying to save some weight. We've also got blind spot monitoring and actually the coolest thing, Steve, I just remembered this. Yeah. This Trail Hunter has an integrated high output air compressor. Hang on, let me drop this. You gotta check this out. Yeah, that's awesome. And the powered gate, of course. Yeah, and you know what, okay, I've said this before, I've never aired down in my life, but that's because I'm lazy. I don't want to have to bother airing back up. But you know what, if I have this set up, uh, it suddenly makes the whole exercise a hell of a lot easier, it really doesn't it? Do. It really does. Yeah, exactly. It's on board. It's with you. You pump up all four tires. I'm sure it's got a PSI readout on there so you know, you know what you're going up to. Yeah, you can set it. There's a stop start here. Uh, so yeah, exactly. That's I mean, awesome. And that's Trail Hunter specific. That has to be pointed out. You're not getting that on the Pro. So. Right. And again, it's more about getting out into the wilderness and, uh, and bringing everything you need with you, right? Yeah, one of the cool things as we move forward is to see how many attachments and other things, particularly things like sort of like roof tents. Sure. You and can get for this thing. Absolutely. And Toyota actually already said that they have over a hundred accessories ready to go for Trail Hunter. And again, it makes sense. They're just trying to take a bite out of the aftermarket. Now there's another thing up front here that's Trail Hunter specific, Dad. The air intake. 
Toyota, oh. Toyota doesn't call it a snorkel because of legal reasons. They think you're going to drive into a lake if it's called a snorkel, but you are getting that air intake way up there by your door. And it's cool actually, you notice it's drawing air from the rear and that's also for dust because if it was drawing from the front, it would get all dusty. Yeah, I do remember the last one that faced forward. Yeah. And people in places where it snowed it said snowed that too. doesn't work. Yeah, the snow, <laughs> snow quickly plugged it up too. So they learned their lesson there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that that's now probably it for specific trail hunter features. It's a cool looking truck though, man. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm digging it. Yeah, you want to see what the interior looks like? Sure, yeah, let's take a peek inside. Okay, you go across the other way and I'll come of this away. So just like Pro, you're getting the top of the line uh, electronics, 14 inch touchscreen in the middle, 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster. Man, there was some short guy in here. <laughs> uh, we can point out the things you mentioned already, Dad. So there's your trailer brake controller right down there beside the wheel. Absolutely. And then your other trailering functions are down here on these buttons, right? There's your rear trailer assist, sway bar disconnect, and the rear locker. Yeah, and you know what? I do want to just give a shout out to Toyota because I think they've done a really good job of keeping the buttons that you need um, and not trying to shove everything into the digital display. Sure, as real buttons. And then actually, I, I also noticed these, right? They added these new kind of metallic switches, which are kind of cool for the HVAC. Mm -hmm. And they just have this texture. Yeah, like you said, so many brands are going to just touchscreen buttons. So nice to see so many buttons and knobs. I like it. Yeah, absolutely. I also like the fact that this is still a normal PRND shifter. shifter. Okay, it doesn't go to a mid position or push forward or flop around. Yeah, absolutely. I uh, agree with you there. And then you can just see the different styling. Now, you probably would have noticed by now all the interior layouts are the same, right? You're not getting a different layout. You're getting different stitching. You're getting a different material here around this Toyota. A different color different scheme. Different colors, exactly. So you're, you're definitely being individualized, but you know what? They have consolidated their build. So it's simpler for these guys to push them down the line, which hopefully will also mean that when you want to order one it won't take a friggin year yeah yeah fair enough uh, I think the one other thing we haven't said yet too dad is that this model will be available as a double only as a double cab so only with four doors but you can get a five or a six foot bed so you do get that choice which is kind of nice yeah absolutely because let's face it trucks need to work Monday to Friday not just play on the weekend yeah so it's nice to know that you can get something with a, a real usable work bed sure and that JBL sound system. You can take the Bluetooth I'm not popping it out. I'm just, I know it's there. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Fair well, enough. That's nice, man. And you know what? Lots of grab handles too, right? The uh, the holy you-know-what handles. Yep. That's always nice too. Exactly. Well, Dad, Toyota says that this truck is actually going to be available to us in late 2023 with the gas engine and in early 2024 with the hybrid. So we're not getting it right away, but I've already said it. I'll say it again. I'm excited to drive it. I think they did a good job. What are your final thoughts on the new Tacoma? Well, we've, we've highlighted four very specific models here for you right now. These are the ones that are available to us. Uh, I'm excited about going forward. So many of the things that we've been complaining about because we've had a love-hate relationship with Toyota for a while. They fixed them all, okay? So now I wanna drive these things desperately. And I know that we've got a real exciting year coming up ahead of us because each one of these are very different trucks. We're gonna get them out. We're gonna do the things that they're meant to do and we're gonna bring it all to you. So it gives you something to look forward to and certainly something us to look forward to. Yeah, and so, don't forget, it's a big midsize year, right? Ranger, GM Twins, and now Tacoma, and I can't wait to compare them. Absolutely. So that's it for this one, folks. We're so happy that you could join us here in Hawaii. And until later, please go below, hit like, hit subscribe, hit join, become a member of the channel because there's lots more Toyota content coming. <laughs> See you later. See you guys. Thanks for watching.